Papa Squat next to Uncle Do-Rag because it's story time. Come with me and you'll be in a world of your imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. So I was very hesitant to make this type of video because it's related to drama and I'm not someone who tries to actively look for drama, but a developer came to me asking me to talk about his game when it's in a better state. That's initially what he was doing, just asking me to cover his game. And of course I'm someone who covers early games, so of course I'm gonna, you know, say yes. So we talked. And I definitely liked what he had to say and what he had to show, but unfortunately his game wasn't in a particular state for me to really talk about, at least not at the time. At the timing of this recording, the game still isn't ready to be talked about, but the reason that I'm bringing this up is because this same developer about a day later bombarded me with a lot of information about a scandal that's going on within his community, his community being the SCP community. I was just stunned with all the information that was just dropped on me, but this was just horrible timing because this all happened through three months ago, at a time when I was just extremely busy packing up and moving out of state. I had no time to look into this case whatsoever, so much so that I nearly forgot about it. But luckily for me, the SCP community is huge, I mean gigantic. There's SCP games, books, comics, you name it. There's even a AAA game called Control that I believe is heavily inspired by the SCP series. So that's just how big the level of its influence is. So this controversy dash scandal garnered the attention of big YouTubers with far bigger audiences than me, and they ended up putting out their videos on the subject. Those videos honestly are what reminded me about the whole situation, and I don't know, I was unsure if I wanted to make this video, because bigger YouTubers have already covered it, the SCP series is not my wheelhouse, and I'm kind of tardy to the party. No lie, this was told to me three months ago. The only reason I'm making this video is because of two reasons. The first reason is because I went back to the developer asking if it was a good idea to still cover it, and he urged me to talk more about it so that there's more awareness because what I'm about to tell you is going to be a very long process before it's all over. The second reason will be told towards the end of the video so that it makes more sense. But yeah, let's get into what's actually going on here. So you've seen or played the games, the comics, the fan art of the SCP series, but all of that stuff is not the originated content. No, this stuff is based off of a website that's actually in Russia called scp-wiki.net. From what I understand, this website is a right project about these SCP creatures? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's what it is. But a lot of the games and fan art is based off of all the stuff that's here on this website. And the website itself is the platform that is in trouble. Let me explain. So over in Russia, there was a man by the name of Andre Duxin. I'm not sure if that's how you say that, but uh, yeah. He's someone who, not too long ago, filed a trademark for SCP as a whole with the Eurasian Customs Union. Now, from what I understand, his trademark was a approved. By all accounts, this is not good, because he's not someone who's actually affiliated with the SCP community, so what he did here is fraudulent. I mean, there's just no way that this guy had anything to do with the writing projects or collaborative effort for every single SCP throughout its entire history, which according to Wikipedia dates back to around 2008, possibly even earlier than that. Like, that dude just literally made the meme right there. He just walks into the SCP office and he's like, this... I made this. Trademark. So you're probably asking yourself, why is this a problem? Why is Uncle Durag bringing this up? Well, to understand the issue, you have to understand what the SCP Foundation and SCP Wiki is. It is something that falls under something called Creative Commons. For those of you that don't know what that is, it basically allows people to use their original work so long as they credit the original owners. However, anything created based on the SCP Foundation as a whole must be registered as Creative Commons also. This means that your direct derived work must be released under the CCBYSA so that other people can use the same license. It is not enough to simply attribute the SCP Foundation. So what Andre Duxon is trying to do is monetize every single SCP piece of property listed on the SCP Wiki in Russia. So think for a second here. If we allow him to win this trademark battle, not only is he able to take the properties and monetize them for his own gain in Russia, but he could also argue for the other properties that are in different countries and languages. So this would effectively create a domino effect where suddenly all the authors of hundreds and thousands of SCP creatures and entities would now belong to one man, Andre Duxon. What a 
diabolical scheme that you could possibly do with just a trademark. That's insane. And if it wasn't bad enough, this guy is also using this fraudulent trademark to extort the original creators. Yeah, according to this, he used the fraudulent trademark to shut down an official social media page of the Russian branch of the SCP Foundation, Wiki, as well as separate fan pages. Fairly recently, he made a ridiculous demand to be the administrator of the Russian Wiki. He said that the Wiki would be twisted into an advertisement for his merchandise rather than the writing community that it is now. Man, this just really pisses me off that I didn't cover this sooner, but man, I was just busy at the time. I never really got to look at this nightmare situation. Well, in the darkness, there's always light because the owners of the SCP Wiki have decided to file a lawsuit against Andre Duxon in an attempt to reverse the fraudulent trademark. But of course, with any legal battle, you need money. And these guys were asking for a hefty sum, 50,000 to be exact. On their page, they listed everything that they wanted to pay for. According to this, all the funds that are going to be raised are going to go towards hours of justice firm as the legal representatives will represent them in the case against this guy. So honestly, if the SCP community wasn't as big as it was, I don't think that they would be able to raise 50000 to actually fight back against this guy. This guy would have probably gotten away with it. But luckily for them, the SCP community is gigantic. Like far bigger than the community that I run with, which is the tactical community. And thanks to giant content creators, the word got out that this was going on. So not only did they raise the 50000 they ended up getting up to 160000 So they got what they needed and then some. And it's a good thing too, because I'm sure this is going to be a very long process as legal things usually go. So that money is going to be definitely helpful for them. And that's definitely a good thing. So I'm not someone who dabbles in the SCP community all that often, but anytime that I hear one of their stories, I almost always find it intriguing just to see how they fit these creatures into our world. So I want to say that I wish the best for the SCP community and I hope they get this all solved and that I stand in solidarity with them because not only could this happen to them, but it could also spread to my community as well as your and guys, remember, the SCP community far succeeds the tactical community. My genre is niche. Who's to say that some guy can't come in and try to fraudulently trademark one of my games that I play? Oh no, this stops here. I am not letting this happen at all. We need to tell this guy that he can't just come in here and take property like he owns it or something. So if you're someone that has the dosh, you know, send him something. Shit, I already spent a lot of money on DreamHack, but uh... <laughs> it hurts me to know that I'm giving up my money, but at least I know that it's going to a good cause. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is my story on what is going on with the SCP community at the moment. Let us hope that this issue gets solved in court so that it sends a message to anybody that tries to trademark something that isn't their own. Hopefully, Mr. Duxon suffers the consequences for extorting others to make his own personal gain because we should not stand for this and these types of actions should not be tolerated. So that is the end of this video. So what are your guys' thoughts? Did you already know about this situation or did I bring this to your attention? Are you someone that's interested in the SCP series? And if so, does this compel you to donate to them? Who do you think is going to win the lawsuit? Is it going to be Andrew Duxon or the creators of the original SCP series going to win? I mean, who knows? I feel like this could go either way, but I want to hold on for, uh, you know, the creators, obviously. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think down below. We have to defeat that algorithm. The algorithm is an SCP. We don't know how it works. Ever someone that addressed the fact that I'm talking about this issue, be sure to like like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new, make sure to ding that bell, and uh, yeah. Here's something I wasn't expecting. My closest friend becomes a patron, and his name is Sean! I make it rain with my friend's money. Rain with my friend's money. I can make it rain with your money too. If you donate two bucks a month, that's all I really need. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. No!